Greetings, fan. Timberlake here from Smart Hobbies. The channel helps you transform a passing interest in a fun and enjoyable hobby. I am doing a Sudoku handmade classic. This was recommended on the CTC Discord channel. It's called Innies or Outies by Joe Harris. I am going to attempt a live solve. I haven't done this before. Uh, just looking at it, it's got a really neat uh, design of the givens here. I mean, there's a lot of givens here in block four and five, but there's zero givens up here in block two. Only one given over here in block six. Uh, I kind of like how it has the diagonal going, but there's a couple of missing spots. That might be the key to solving this one. I'm not really sure. So let's find out. And with that, it's, it's solving, solving time. time. And so I'm going to show all the candidates. That's the way I'll be solving these. It's probably, it should be a more advanced puzzle. And what I like to do is just kind of stare down and see you know, which cells don't have that many uh, candidates where I can kind of go to first. You're looking at there's a seven, eight, nine triple. The five's a naked, or excuse me, hidden single here, in block two, or block uh, four, and cut across five, 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 two fives right there. Okay. Um, I only see one four along column two, so that has to be a four. Uh, I see two fours here. Kind of scan up. The rest of the fours can't make any eliminations there. So I'm going to scan across. And now I'm just kind of scanning through to see if there's any other hidden naked singles that I just don't happen to see. Right now, nothing's jumping out, but I have a feeling I'll get to something. There's only two ones right there, okay. Uh, the twos, one and up high, seven, eights, and nines. One, three, four, eight, that's okay. But the fours are limited right here, which tells me that there's not going to be, uh, you know, this is a claiming pair, so you can't have any other fours in the middle there. And then the sevens are claiming a pair right here for block six in row five. So those can't be sevens. And you know these sevens are limited here in block four to uh, row four. Okay, uh, moving right along, we'll get down here to look at now kind of rows seven eight nine and if I don't make any other eliminations okay I have a hidden single three that I just noticed and I'll move up there's two threes there threes there okay can't solve any more of those six seven eight nine uh, can't solve any of those just yet okay uh, and then we have a hidden single two at the very bottom. Okay. And I'm scanning across, see if there's any other easy twos that I can eliminate. I don't see them. All right, so let's move on to the filtering the candidates. Oh, I missed this hidden single one right there. That was pretty easy, my bad. All right. Moving on to the twos. And I'm going to look here. Uh, no unique rectangles. If I see a square like that, that's something I'll look for. Uh, but we don't have the opportunity here. With the threes, uh, nothing that I can solve with the threes with that configuration. Let's go to the fours. I already got that claim pair there. Um, let's see if there's something. I don't see a. Uh, Swordfish, jellyfish, I don't see fishing kite, anything along those lines with the fours. And I'm, you can also maybe look for a unique rectangle type situation, but I don't see that either. Uh, ex, uh, empty rectangle is not going to play out. Okay, go with fives. And not see anything with the fives, I can make an immediate elimination. All right, this is something interesting here with the sixes because you have the strong link here, these two sixes in column one. It makes me want to kind of skirt over here and see what's going on with these sixes. And it's you might think, oh, you have a fin X-wing, right? Because you have one extra spot there. But fin X-wing, only for this to be a fin, it would have to be in the same block as either this or this six. So we can't use that as a fin X-wing. But is there something else going on that I'm 
not seeing. Uh, yeah, you got an empty rectangle. All right, so what you do is follow the sixes out of this row to here. And you have a strong link up to this six, and you'd come back over to where it meets the six coming up this way. So you come back over here to that, and you can eliminate that six. And the reason being is if one of these is a six, that can't be a six, this will be a six. So that can't be a six. And if this is a six, that can't be a six. But that's the way to spot it. And now I'm coming down here looking at uh, any other way. You could have used it as a two-string kite. So like the six coming out this way and the six coming out this way. Make the same elimination. So I'm looking to see if there's another elimination I can make with these sixes because it's a really interesting pattern that we see. Uh, I don't see anything else, but you know that's going to help us. This gives us a buy value cell with the now four seven. Let's go to the sevens, then those rows, um, and hey, you're going to have another empty rectangle, just the same way that we had with the sixes. You have with the sevens. Uh, except it's it's going to be the same cell, right? Right. The sevens are coming out of here, goes up, has a strong link to this seven, and then it meets right there. So you can eliminate that seven. That's a four. That's pretty cool. I like that. A couple empty rectangles work on the same exact spot. I really, I kind of like that. I like that style you had there, Joe. And then, what else am I looking at here? I don't see anything else, but that's definitely going to help us solve this puzzle. Let's go to the eights. Um, some crazy stuff going on here with the eights. Uh, you, it has that nice star shape in the middle. Kind of looks like a cross. I don't see strong links really with the eights, and I don't see anything that we can eliminate easily. Uh, this is very interesting uh, down here in block seven, the way this shape works out. Because if you, you know, if one of these was an eight, then your eights are limited down there. If one of these was an eight, then your eights are limited right here. I remember seeing a puzzle recently where Simon pointed this kind of situation out and was able to make some eliminations based on because of the limitations of the of the numbers and this type of situation. Oh, let's go to nines. Oh, what do we got here? This is interesting. Got another strong link. Got nine stretching across rows uh, six, row four. Can I make an elimination though? I don't see. a straight elimination with that. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm just going to go back to these real quick. I don't... I know we made a couple of with the four and see if it affected any of these other cells. It does not. So, let's come back here. Actually, I'll go back to the fives. Just real quick. I don't think there's this is where I need to be looking, but I just want to, uh, just in case. Okay. And yeah, we're going to make that elimination. So let's go here. Uh, now I'm going to look at the by value cells and see is there some kind of XY wing or some kind of uh, W wing, you know, something that we can help bring this puzzle to a close. So 7, 8, 3, 7, is there a 3, 8? that we can work on. Um, I also see a 7, 8 and a 7, 8 there, which makes me look for an, a, a D variant W wing down there, but I don't see it. 8, 9 and 8, 9. doesn't matter if those are linked because there would be no eliminations to make off of that. 6, 8 and a 6, 7. Do we have a 7, 8? over here but not directly linked to either one of those all right i'm kind of curious where we can go with this
Um, yeah, I don't see the the direct fix. I have the feeling there's got to be something here, though. Maybe I'm just missing like a naked hidden uh, pair. So let me focus real quick. What do we have? What do we have? Seven, eight, or eight, seven, seven, three. That's not going to get us anywhere. There's not enough here for an XY chain. So what is it that this puzzle's telling me? Um, we do have an XYZ wing, so I'll show that. And we should be able to make an elimination there. So three candidates, one, eight, and nine. You have the pivot, you have the two pinchers. Uh, because there's three candidates here, it's whatever all three can see, we can eliminate the eight. Because uh, no matter how you solve this, one of these guys here, here, here has to be an eight. If that's a one, that's an eight. If that's an eight, obviously that's an eight. If that's a nine, that's an eight. So we can eliminate the eight from right there. Okay. So X, Y, Z wing, nice. What does that do for a puzzle? And eliminate the eight gives us a four nine pair. I wonder if there's another uh, example because I can look here at the eights and that's not going to tell me anything. I have a feeling my answer is going to be still here. There's maybe another X Y wing or X Y Z wing. Six eight eight one eight and a four four and a two is there a two four eight that we can work off of no huh. If you're seeing something, you're probably screaming at the screen. When Timberlake, how can you be missing that? It is so easy. It's so obvious. Four, eight, four, nine, eight, nine, but they're not seeing each other. All right, maybe I missed something simple. Nothing there with the ones. Look at the twos. Uh, nothing simple that I can make with the twos. Going to the threes, and now I'm looking for something like uh, uh, again another unique rectangle. There's nothing there. The fours. Okay, so I can do a unique rectangle with the four. So you have a four nine. Four nine, four nine, four nine. This is the only by value. Uh, four nine. So if you look across, you'll notice that you can also solve uh, nines in some of these spots. Yeah. So I know there's some nines I can solve here. So we know that this can't be a nine. The reason being is if this was a nine, then this would be a four, and that'd be a four, and this would be a nine. But then if you, but then you can do the whole puzzle and you can solve that. This would be a four, and those would be nines, and that'd be a four, and you'd have two solutions, same puzzle. It's got a unique solution. You can't do that. So we're able to eliminate that nine. And now, what does that do for our puzzle? Well, now you have only one nine right there. So you can solve that for a nine, that for a four, and we're making some more progress. Nice. Uh, 
Okay, uh, I like this puzzle. So you have a 1 8 pair now, so we can get rid of the 1 8, so that means that has to be a 6, that has to be a 2. Uh, and come across here, 6, 6s, 2s, two, um, 5, 6, 7, triple, yeah, sure, that makes sense. 3, 5, 7, 8 across the top, that makes sense. Okay, so stay focused here. Uh, one eight seven eight three seven. Okay, uh, and I gotta kind of bring this home to the home stretch. I thought that might kind of crack our puzzle. It hasn't cracked the puzzle, but we're getting closer. Let's let's see the damage that we've made here. There's still two spots for each of those. Can't do that. Oh man, I missed that hidden zero. Two. I should have known that the twos. I could have kept on solving. Sweet. That's helpful. And so now you have one, one, three left in column two, so we can solve that for three. And then what are we looking at here? I'm looking to finish solving my puzzle. Oh, I guess it's Joe's puzzle. Appreciate it, Joe. I only see one four in column four. And you got the fours here, the four there. So that helps us out. I'm going to try to do a little bit more of me looking at the actual candidates. Yep, yeah, uh, in single. Three, three, and three. There's your seven. There's an eight. There's a one. That's an eight. Nine, five, one. These are all uh, naked singles. Two. Four, eight, six, nine, six, nine means that has to be a two. That's a four. Uh, that's an eight because this is a six, nine here. Seven, nine, six, seven, nine, seven, eight, six, eight, five, six, five, eight. Okay, uh, but we can solve this as an eight, one, five, six, and we've cracked our puzzle. So I found a couple of empty rectangles that worked on the same cell. That was pretty cool. And then we had the XYZ wing and then the unique rectangle type 7 that got me to crack the puzzle. Very cool, Joe. I like that. That was It made me think. There's a couple spots where I thought I was going to get to the end or crack it sooner and find my way out. But uh, it gave me uh, more challenges there to solve. So I appreciate it. I see why it was recommended. Please give it a try yourself. Let me know how you did in the comments below. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Uh, again, thank you, Joe, for this puzzle. And for you, the viewer, thank you so much for watching.